He's one of the very hardworking individuals that I've ever come across. He has been involved in many projects. I'm sure you've all seen most of his work, and he's also involved in some new and exciting projects. Uh, Bijan John recently went to India to pursue his dream and also to develop his acting skills. He will be one of the biggest stars of the Afghan cinema, and he's also the founder of ANB Films. Bijan Niromant. <laughs> Thank you for taking time and coming. Thank you so much. Um, oh, Bejan John. Okay. Um, first of all, congratulations on City Twist. Um, Thank you. It was a really good film. And waiting for the next one because it ended very mysteriously. Yeah. But um, I want to first start by saying I know you're passionate about cinema and film. I have acknowledged that. But in a few words, tell me, what does the world of cinema and acting mean to you? Perfect. Thank you so much for the amazing question. Before I start answering it, I want to say hi to all of the people that followed you. Assalamu alaikum. I hope everybody's doing well and having an amazing day ahead. Thank you so much for um, selecting me to do an interview with yourself. It's a pleasure, especially thank you so much for your kind words about City Twist. So for me, I had this very, very strong passion from a young age. When I was around three, four years old, I came to London and I was living here with my cousins and family and everyone. So we used to sit around. We used to, from, from that age, we used to like uh, do theatre shows between us, like us kids, you know, Dukhtare Khala, Dukhtare Kok on, um, and everybody. We used to sit down and my yeah. cousins from the uh, guys, we used to all like... Uh, do plays and stuff show to the family and they used to like it and they used to support me so from that age i was like so passionate and then when i turned like 12 13 i started a youtube channel and like this was like it was a while ago i think it was like 16 years ago then i started doing all these youtube videos and mm. then i went back to school uni masters everything so then i had to leave it all on the side but it's it's all to do with passion and how much you love cinema cinema has different meaning to each and every person for me it's it's more about my like the passion that I have for cinema is, is quite it's quite high. But yeah, from a young age, even on my brother's phone now, I can still sort of see some of those old videos of me trying to do some dance moves or like acting like Shah Rukh Khan. You know, those videos are still there. Of course, I didn't go straight in. Um, I have enough knowledge as well. So as um, I went to uni, school, college, all of that, once everything was finished, I got my master's degree at MSc Management Technology and Innovation from Brno University. Then I went back. And then I started doing an acting school at Anupam Care Acting School in Mumbai. Grow up once again. which was around um three months course so i finished my um acting school there then i came back here there's a really really good uh, acting school in london called city academy i did some workshops there and then i went back to acting after you realized that you know this was your path what was the initial steps you took to making sure that you get into you get into acting and because a lot of people they dream to act yeah. and they they, they, you know, especially Bollywood films, they see certain actors and they're like, I want to do that. But then it doesn't happen for them, for a lot of them. But what did you do to make sure that you, you know, you this comes true and you have a good foundation? What was your initial steps? To be honest, um, with a lot of people, they all want to become an actor. I mean, a lot of people want to become an actor and anything, but they're not actioning anything themselves physically. So what I had to do is I had to get a team together. So I got like a videographer, a director, everybody in a room. And I told them that this is the vision I have. This is my, this was when I was planning my first film, Salam London, in 2019, 18, 19. So I got everybody in a room. I said, look, I have a vision to make a film. It's going to be an Afghan film. It's going to have me as the lead character. We're going to have these much characters. This is kind of the story I want. Can we put this together? And and we we had a lot of brainstorming. I had a little uh, PowerPoint presentation. I showed them. I actually put them all at Bruno University, and I did this. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, uh, after seeing that everybody's on the like same boat, we want to do it, and then we got started with a project. So it's like you know, it's not going to come to you. You need to go to it. Like if there is something that you want to do, you need to be after it. And like if I say, if I had not 
get those people together, not made that PowerPoint presentation, not sat down with them and discussed my vision for Salam London, that movie would have not existed on Amazon Prime or YouTube or mm-hmm. 2T or Dario app that's in there right now and everybody mm-hmm. has seen it. But it wouldn't have been there. So uh, it's like more about actioning what you want to do. And sometimes, let's say like filmmaking, especially, you don't really need like a like a humongous budget. You don't need nowadays. iPhone qualities are so good. You know, Samsung qualities are so good. You can literally mm. get together with a few friends and do your own short film, and even submit that to big big award shows. You can even potentially get Oscars if you can, if if you have the solid fundamental of making that film. So it's it's all within yourself. It's all possible. Um, the first step I think you should be like if you want to become an actor just get a headshot done submit it to as many as uh, agencies as possible um, and also start if, if it's difficult for you to get your first role start doing something with yourself with your friends but together you know small funding or maybe try to get collaboration a lot of actors nowadays wants to be part of films and uh, acting mm. so they would be more than happy to collaborate with you put some uh, stories together and you've got yourself a show reel and then from there onwards you just have to keep applying to other roles and submitting that show reel that you've created mm-hmm. and what do you think it's more important do you think talent is more important or taking the training or both of them go hand in hand what do you think is most yeah. important so i think so i think um Talent is very important. Yes, you do need to have the talent, but training is even more important. I think with when you understand what you're doing, it's much it's much better. It's like when I went to Anapam Kera Acting School, I never even knew there was like seven different different methods of acting and many more. There's method acting. There's so much different uh, strategies of acting. There's different kind of feelings and like the, the way that you trigger those feelings. Like, for example, if you watch City Twist, we had a scene where uh, he was in a sofa with uh, Sarah and Bajan were in a sofa and they were discussing about Bajan's background and how he's lost his parents, if you've mm-hmm. noticed. And like, for example, with that scene, I resemblance my own real life. So what I have gone through and how I've lost my parents and I was really into that character. You know, mm-hmm. the emotions comes out naturally once yeah. you, you connect yourself with those characters. I think mm-hmm. you learn all this on how you connect yourself with that character through these mm-hmm. acting classes. Are you in your family? It's okay. I will understand. You can speak to me. I'm not gonna hurt you. I used to go to school. I had a mother. I had a father. I was a very naughty kid. I used to trouble my parents a lot. (laughs) One day, I came back from school. My uncle was standing outside the door. And he wasn't letting me go inside to see my parents. And later on that evening, I found out. I was told by my uncle that my parents have gone to paradise. You know, Sarah, that was the saddest day of my life. So I think when you when when you do these acting you learn all the methods of acting and how it's done theoretically as well so i think uh with um with acting classes i think it's highly it's it's really really good it's always good to do it as much as as possible if you have the talent even better so you're gonna you're gonna outshine yourself it's gonna be amazing so going back to my point it's like the acting class really helped me when i was filming that scene it made me think of all the memories that i had like with parents mm-hmm. with my father and mother mm-hmm. and how mm-hmm. i can portray that you know that mm-hmm. whole scene was a five minute scene but we managed to do it at, in uh i believe one take or two take and it was all in the camera didn't go off so it was all mm-hmm. like yeah so it was like like a five minute scene straight on so it all mm-hmm. comes with like if you have the knowledge of acting and how it works it really really helps with your final outcome mm-hmm. but um now that you've you know you've been trained and you've had an insight of 
you know, doing films and everything. I mean, now when you play your characters, what steps do you take to make sure that you understand your character and you understand the importance of your character to the story? What kind of things do you do in order to understand it all? Yeah, so it really depends on what the scene is and who the character that you're playing is. Mm -hmm. The best part about acting and what I really, really enjoy is getting into another character's feet, understanding their feelings. Like let's say, for mm -hmm. example, you're playing a doctor or you're playing a journalist. You really mm -hmm. go into that mindset. You start researching how journalists think, how doctors mm -hmm. think. You, know? you really mm -hmm. start believing that you are that doctor yeah. and or the journalist. Like it, that's the best part of acting. You you start believing that you're somebody else, and that's when you know you're doing it right. Is when you feel like you're not you when you're acting. You know, you're somebody else. Absolutely. But um, coming to the film City Twist. Yeah. Um, how did the film come about like how did you guys decide to do such a film yeah uh, very good question so <laughs> city twist is like my dream project basically uh, and how we did this was um we were me and aaron 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 colleague is which is the director and the writer of city twist and who also played the main villain at uh, robert alt in the film me mm -hmm. and him were working on a bollywood film called gunpat and mm -hmm. Gunpad was around, we were there for around 45 days shoot. And there was some mm -hmm. big stuff like Tiger Shroff, Kriti Sanan, and many other Bollywood stars that was there. Mm -hmm. Of them, maybe I don't know, but they were like really, really good stars, mm -hmm. big directors. We were on that set for like 45 days straight. And we were shooting, but our scenes wasn't too big, you know. We were most of the mm -hmm. time, we were sitting down for them to get ready for them to tell us to come in now, your scene has started. Mm -hmm. but we had a lot of time to sit down and discuss. And then I started discussing my film, Salam London, to him. And he was interested to watch it. He actually watched it. He was like, interesting, something different, because there was English subtitle. Then mm -hmm. he started telling me how much passionate he is with writing and directing. Mm -hmm. So then I was like, how about me and you start something? He goes, what, like a film? I'm like, yeah. He goes, what would it be about? He goes, uh, I said something that we're both interested in. He goes, well, I've always loved to play a villain. And he goes, What's, wh what, what does my name mean, Bejan? So I was like, I don't know, let's search up. He searched up. He goes, Bejan means hero in Persian. I was <laughs> like, oh, wow. <laughs> Even I didn't know. He goes, yeah. okay. So he goes, let's keep your name as Bejan in the film because you're the hero of the film. And Robert Alter would be my name because he apparently he did a little research and every Bollywood villain that was white was called Robert Alter Robert. back in the days. Yeah. So he was like, I'll keep that villainish name. So I was like, okay, cool. So then we started writing the film in the 45 days. Most of the writing is done by him. Mm -hmm. um, I had my little inputs here and there. And then, mm -hmm. we, um, then we were like, okay, now we're done. We're done with the writing. Um, how, where do we take it now? So he was like, okay, let's action it by, let's cast. So we were like, okay, we're here in the movie set. There's like hundreds of people around us. And we're looking at like all these really, really good actors who are just sitting down like their whole day. They're like there for 50 days, 45 days sitting down. Mm. Anything. We started approaching each and every one of them. We mm. recruited 80% of our film from that Bollywood set. So people that oh, you wow. saw in City Twist are 80% from Tiger Shroff's movie. So Gunpad. So they all they all uh, came with us. They were like perfect. We were up for this project. So Lorenzo, Michael, Rob, all of them. They were mm. all uh, from the same um, project. So we all came back. And then once we finished with the Tiger Shroff shoot, we started the shooting for City to a straight after. And we managed mm. to finish it up, wrap it up, have a premiere. Are you are are you involved in the Tiger Shroff movie or not? Yeah, I am. But it's not like a majorly massive role. You might see me here and there. Um, Aaron is also like me and him. Our characters were quite close by. Um, I'm playing a role called Wiki, where I handle the cash when Tiger Sheriff is fighting and stuff. And oh. Aaron is the judge, where he like tells the fight is finished and stuff. So we have roles here and there, but we were there for 45 days. You might see us. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully, yeah. okay. But um, back to the film City Twist. Um, obviously, I saw that the response was positive especially from the people that came in the premiere i did not expect more than 300 people to be here it's it's, it's, it's tremendously amazing i'm going to support this film and we're going to watch the film. Later. I mean, look around, everyone's enjoying, everyone's in good spirits, everyone looks fantastic.
the guys. It was amazing work all together. Yeah, there's a lot of tooth, so that's what's called sea tooth. And you know, I want to see what's happening in the next one. So. I mean, this is the start of something really incredible. From all the responses that you got, what stood out the most? While I was in the premiere of the film, um, a lady came up to me and she was like, you know what? I'm so proud of you because you did it in such a low budget. Like you funded it yourself as well. And the fact that you have it finished, published, and also have a premiere in Leicester Square in such a like a busy location mm. in central London and have a turnout of 300 people. It, now it's not even about the movie, just organizing this event itself. It's an achievement. So it was really nice. I, I had a lot of positive, positive feedback, not just about the movie, just in general, you know, like managing to finish off a project. Mm. I think like just... If you, if you start something, even if it's a short film, even if it's a music video, you manage to finish and publish it, it's a big achievement. And that will be with you all your life. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, absolutely. And from this film of yours, what will you take on and what have you learned that will help you for your other projects? There's a lot of things I've learned, to be honest, from this film. And that's why I'm so eager to do City to Us too, because all the issues that we face, all the problems that we had, you know, we can overcome it. Um, like certain some some problems were like let's say like um it's small things like you know we had availability issues from some actors we had like uh location issues sometimes we had like um um actors like actresses like not turning up or something so all of these mm -hmm. little issues can be amended fixed and polished for the next one and also even with videography filming color grading sound editing you know all of mm -hmm. that there's a lot of things that we can improve on in the second one uh, just by looking at it now, I feel like if we do go ahead with the second one, we will overcome all the ha hurdles that we had on the first one. But yeah. OK. And personally yourself, I mean, everyone, whatever profession they choose, they they want to gain something out of it or they, they have an aim that they want to achieve. But through your films or through what you're doing, what what's your ultimate goal? What do you want out of this? Um, so first of all, I'm from Afghanistan, as you know, and I want to make our people proud. You know, uh, when I did Salam London, it was for my Afghan audience. It was more like an introduction to the Afghan community that, hi, guys, I'm here and I'm trying to do something for you guys. Now that I'm doing a few things in Bollywood, a few things in uh, British films, and it's like I'm still representing Afghans and I'm still mm -hmm. representing myself as an Afghan. Even the film City Twist, you might have noticed certain places where I'm wearing the Afghan stuff. Yeah. App, or I'm wearing Afghan on colors, yeah. or I'm an Afghan character in the actual film. And if you've noticed, technically I'm the only Afghan in the whole movie. So it's it's more like um, I'm still representing our people. I want to be able to represent us in bigger scale, you know, for the British people, for the Bollywood people, and hopefully take our um, take our people as high as as possible in mm -hmm. the right ways. Uh, so that's my initial goal, and also hopefully to become a successful actor and. But someday, you never know, one of our short films gets an Oscar or something. That is our ultimate goal. Um, regarding like being financial free, it's it's very, very less likely that this is this is the sector for that. And it's very, very difficult. You have to work for years and years, which is perfectly fine. But if somebody's thinking of, you know what, I'm gonna do acting to mm -hmm. potentially be financially free and earn as much as possible, it's not the right field and it's not going to happen. And mm -hmm. it, it might happen in the long run, but it's not going to happen anytime soon. So yeah, that's definitely not my goal. And I don't think uh, anybody that wants to get into acting, it's more like you're spending more than you're earning. Mm. And what's the best advice that you've been given yourself? The best advice you've been given? Um, one of the advice, um, I asked someone about acting and I was like, um, uh, what would the what makes a good actor he goes and he was like but what makes a good actor is someone who is not acting mm. so it's it's when you're actually in the foot of that character where it's your acting stops you're living that person you're living that character and mm -hmm. that stayed with me for a for a long time and it will always stay with me it's it's um it's really, really interesting because recently I had a shoot with um, Asad Jonas Sekandar. You, you've interviewed him before. Yes. We're, we're working on this uh, Afghan uh, drama uh, as well. And um, we had a scene which was around seven minutes long and I'm asking him a lot of questions. Um, and, and I'm a, an undercover police officer. And you know, that advice that I got recently, I applied it and I was like, okay, you know what? I am a police officer. I'm not acting as one. And this is my script. I took some time out to learn my script. And um, it's always good to know your script beforehand. 
So I memorized the whole script. And I went in with a complete different aura. When I went mm. in, I, I was like, I was so surprised myself, the way I was asking him the questions, mm. the way he was under pressure, the way I was like pushing myself and everything. So I think that advice would always stay with me. It's like more like don't act, be that character, you know? Mm. Um, and that's what makes a good actor as well. Give me yeah. three top favorite actors. I have one who I admire and I watch his movies and not because of his movies. I like him because of the way he does his interviews. I like him the way he treats women. I like him the way he helps um, uh, a lot of like, organization, charity organization and stuff. And his, and his acting never gets boring. And I can watch him on and on again. It's Shah Rukh Khan. Uh, and he's one tremendous actor, like honestly. Just like look at him, he's around, I don't know, 56 plus now and his new movie's coming out anytime soon and he's killing it. Like literally he's like an idol. He's like a, he's just a motivation himself. Just by watching his films, watching his uh, action, watching his rom romance and how he gives interviews, how he delivers a TED talk and how he delivers um, a show, that all inspires me, you know, that, that really motivates me and I really, really enjoy watching him. Um, and I watch most of the stuff that he does and I see him as one of my role models within the film industries. There are a few different, to be honest, you know, the kind of films I like, it's it's very, very, uh, it's more thriller and it's more like uh, films like, uh, they're quite dark and gloomy and like okay. those kind of films. So the actors that works in those kind of films are people like, like Nawazuddin Siddiqui, uh, Manoj Bajpayee, like mm. those kind of actors who people like, like, People, normally people don't really watch those kind of films mm. there are a very small amount of people that do uh, and I'm one of them I like thrillers I like like movies that keeps you on the edge you know you don't know yeah. what's going to happen next or a lot of twists and turns and stuff mm -hmm. so yeah what about from Hollywood do you like anyone from Hollywood Hollywood I I watch here and there it's not like I'm, I'm not a massive massive fan a fan mm. but like somebody like Johnny Depp like his movies are quite interesting or like Leonardo DiCaprio like Wolf of Wall Street and all of that so he's he's, he's one of a very good at me he's one of his favorite films that I've watched was Shatter Island and mm. if you haven't watched it, you should definitely watch it it's really really interesting some of his films you watch at the end and you still need to research what the movie was about or industries not, not out there yet who would you say is your favorite I look at it as a whole, like, okay, do we have an active, active cinema? What mm -hmm. was the last film I watched five years in Afghan cinema? Like, what was released? There's literally nothing. And also with the current issue happening, yeah, maybe on the time, on the good times, they did mm -hmm. have some good work and stuff. But currently, right now, I don't see any of them as a role model. I'm not, I'm not saying it like in a, in a negative way. It's just the current situation that we're in, and it's, it's not, it's not the kind of people that you want to put as a role model. No, I can understand that. And I've also noticed that you feature in a few music videos, yeah, um, Afghan music videos, and um, you've collaborated with a few people that are quite established. And um, but tell me, how different is the experience from um, doing a film or cinema world to featuring in a music video? How different is the experience? So I have a company called A and B Film Studios, A and B Film Production where we handle everything for, for a singer. So let's say, for example, Qais Shana Ulfat contacted me and said he wants a music video. He wants a story like this and he wants a girl and a guy, etc. I'm like, okay, we got this. So I find the locations, I get my camera crew out, I get my actors out, actresses, we find the location, we go shoot, we edit, we give them the final product to upload on their YouTube channel. So, um, so I'm more like the production team at the same time as acting on, on front of the camera. We did another one for Ali Ajana and Sari, which hit 10 million views on YouTube called Hayat. That's, that's an amazing amount of views for an Afghan song on YouTube and like several other ones. Um, it's, it's really, really fun and interesting. Music videos are much more uh, easier than films because uh, most of the time you have little dialogue or no dialogue and it's mainly action and movements and it's all fun. Um, but the only thing is because I'm producing it and I've got too much responsibility going on trying to get it done before the deadline, editing it and the process behind it, it doesn't become as fun as it looks on the video. But um, I enjoy it because it's quick releases and it keeps you going. You know, you're still active mm -hmm. on, the, on, what you, on all yeah. of those stuff. Something's coming out, you know. But who else do you want? Who's who, What other music video do you want to feature along with? Like, who, which other singer do you want to be with yeah. and feature with? I really want to... Um, move on to films and short films and I've got mm -hmm. like three 
new short films which have which the script is done which i want to start uh with filming those rather than doing music videos because i think with short films you know you can tell a lot more story you can tell a lot uh um it's more my passion that's that's the way that i want to go forward with because that's where we uh we there is still a lot of good music videos coming out in the afghan community i think that what we need help on is more movies more short films more mm. feature mm. films uh, from that perspective i think i could help better and if you had to sum up your journey in three words what would you say three words that's that's uh, i've never <laughs> you know i never thought about it in three words but there's been struggle for sure uh there's been excitements in most of it struggle excitement and it's fun yeah <laughs> <laughs> well thank you so much bijan john for your time and um i hope you all the best and inshallah bana fakta tayyib birathi and yeah thank you so much diana john for your time and for your effort and well done to you for doing such a uh, great work i know it takes a lot of hard work time effort these organizing these questions and like researching and all of that so it's not as easy as it looks i completely understand thank you so much for your time